Drop that subframe. Let's do that now. We're gonna drop the transmission. We get all the lines and wiring oh, out of its way. These lines are gonna come down with it slowly. We don't want to mess with these too much. We're gonna do this all for very cheap and emergency. See every time. Look at that fucker. Oh my god. Can I see inside? Oh yeah. 1200? Yeah. On another whole tranny. Not this case and everything. What? On another tranny. Like we rebuild it. Yeah. No, he's not going to rebuild this. He's not. He's going to put a home in front on it. Oh, yeah, and he knows. So we'll just hang the actual steering rack on the exhaust. Idea what he's going to do. I would like to have one other side for just doing oil rust proofing and detailing. Elliot, like five more years oh. if you want in detail. So, oh, note to self. If you have a hoist, I needed to remember this time you just reminded me, and obviously, again, I wasn't thinking. Don't drop your subframe with it up in the air. Just lower the car down and obviously do what I'm doing right there. Smart ass, dumb ass. Literally, that was just ridiculous of me to not even think about that. We dropped the fucker, whatever. All right. Back at that trans on that 2011 Ford Fusion. You guys remember the hole that was there? All this was completely rebuilt and patched. Yes, we use caulk today just to make sure there's nothing gonna come through. So, yeah, make sure you guys have a used trans or a new trans lined up and every part that you might need before you do a job, like I informed this one, because you could set somebody back like Thomas and I, and you're gonna have to pay more money. See ya.